گزشتہ چند روز سے فلسطین میں ظلم اور بربریت کی مثالیں قائم کی جا رہی ہیں خواتین ہوں بچے ہوں بزرگ ہوں سبھی اسرائیلی فورسز کئی تشدد کا نشانہ بنتے دکھ رہے ہیں نوجوانوں کا تو حال ہی برا ہے جہاں دل چاہتا ہے جس بلڈنگ پہ دل چاہتا ہے بم مار کے میزائل مار کے چلے جاتے ہیں گزشتہ چند روز پہلے ہم نے دیکھا کہ انٹرنیشنل میڈیا کی بلڈنگ پہ جہاں پہ اپارٹ رہائشی اپارٹمنٹس بھی موجود تھے وہاں پہ اسرائیلی فورسز نے ایک گھنٹے کا ٹائم دیا اور ایک گھنٹے بعد تین میزائل داغ دیے جس سے پوری بلڈنگ زمین بوس ہو گئی ایسے ہی بچوں کی خبریں جو بچوں کی ویڈیو سامنے آ رہی ہیں آئے دن بچے مر رہے ہیں خواتین پہ ظلم ہو رہے ہیں اریسٹ کرتے ہیں تشدد کرتے ہیں پھر چھوڑ دیتے ہیں ایسا آپ سے نہیں گزشتہ چند دہائیوں سے ہم دیکھتے ہوئے آ رہے ہیں سوشل میڈیا کی بات کروں تو سوشل میڈیا پہ آج کل ایک ویڈیو بڑی وائرل ہے جس میں جو ایک لڑکی ہے فلسطینی لڑکی وہ اریسٹ ہوتی ہے اس کو مارتے ہیں اسرائیلی فورسز اس کے باوجود اس کی جو اسماعیل ہے جو وہ مسکرا کے کیمرے کو دیکھتی ہے وہ اسماعیل اس چیز کا میسج ہے کہ جتنی بھی ظلم اور ستم کر لیں مسلمان کبھی بھی الاقصہ مسجد سے پیچھے نہیں ہٹیں گے فلسطینی کبھی بھی ہار نہیں مانیں گے میرے ساتھ وہی لڑکی موجود ہیں جن کا نام مریم عفیفی ہے مریم عفیفی کو ہم نے اپنے پروگرام میں مدعو کیا ہے ان سے جانتے ہیں کہ ابھی کرنٹ سچویشن فلسطین میں کیا چل رہی ہے اور جو ویڈیو وائرل ہوئی ہے اس کے حوالے سے ان سے بات چیت کریں گے السلام علیکم مریم آئی ایم بیٹر اوکے اوکے مریم ٹیل می واٹ از دا کرنٹ سچویشن ان فلسطین رائٹ ناؤ So uh, basically the situation in Jerusalem and in the rest of uh, historic Palestine is uh, is not uh, well uh, we are uh, so each place in Palestine has its own uh, specific story uh, Gaza has been uh, bombed and uh, around 200 Palestinians uh, died uh, 60 children died in uh, the bombing bombing on Gaza and the air strikes on Gaza in Jerusalem uh, they want to uh, dis- uh, displace Palestinians uh, from Jerusalem from a neighborhood called Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood so uh, we were uh, protesting for for more than a month now uh, against uh, this law against the law of displacement for Palestinians but um, But basically, uh, they closed Sheikh Jarrah, they make it a, a close territory, they ma- made it a, um, a, what they call it, a military zone. So us protesters and us Palestinians can go to Sheikh Jarrah now because it's a military zone, it's closed uh, completely. And uh, the Palestinians living in the houses in Sheikh Jarrah that they want to displace from Sheikh Jarrah and from Jerusalem are facing uh, the um, the occupation alone there because us protesters can't uh, can't go there. They closed it completely. Uh, if we protest in Sheikh Jarrah or near Sheikh Jarrah, they will um, they will uh, fire uh, rubber coated bullets on us. They will fire bombs on us, tear gas on us. So basically, uh, and they will follow us with uh, skunk water, skunk uh, uh, grenades. So basically, the situation in Jerusalem is totally, uh, um, let's say. Uh, totally bad but but one of the most uh, most bad things and serious things that it's happening in Palestine and the rest of historic Palestine like cities like Haifa uh, Yaffa Akka Lid these cities are facing uh, and Jerusalem as well they are facing lynch mobs they are facing armed settlers so armed settlers today are roaming uh, the streets of palestine uh, shouting um, uh, they are shouting death to arabs uh, okay, they, how they are, they are armed. Doing how palestinian people are living uh, like they bombed uh, palestine the israel forces bombed palestine they destroyed roads building each and everything even agriculture land they destroyed how do you are living in palestine how hard to live in palestine right now so basically they are bombing gaza Uh, in Gaza, there is 2.5 million Palestinians living in uh, the strip of Gaza. Uh, we only have hope. Uh, we, an- we only have 
to hope and to pray for the people of Gaza, but also we as Palestinian in the rest of historic Palestine are trying to uh, strike, have, a, have strikes, especially tomorrow, uh, the 18th of May. We are striking against what's happening in Gaza and against what's happening in uh, historic Palestine cities, uh, especially the violence that's coming from uh, Israeli mobs and Israeli uh, settlers that are armed and that are killing Palestinians hand in hand with soldiers and with police uh, forces. Okay, so what are the medical facilities you have? Because uh, they are bombing hospitals, they are bombing uh, apartments, they are bombing media channels. What are the medical facilities there? So basically, they are bombing the hospitals and other uh, stuff in uh, in Gaza. Uh, I'm not from Gaza, but uh, the situation in Gaza is so bad. Um, we 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 can't go to Gaza. Gazan Skark can't come to Jerusalem. It's closed. Gaza it has been an open air prison for more than fifteen years now. Um, the situation in Gaza is really bad. We only get photos and videos from Gaza the way you do, the way the rest of the, the world do, because nobody have access to Gaza or have or can go and enter Gaza. The Gazans are imprisoned for more than 15 years now. Okay. Um, okay. As you say, they are bombing. How is the situation of food? You eating shelter, you are homes. How you are living, how you are eating food? So basically, we only hope for, uh, for, we only pray and we only hope for the best. But uh, this doesn't mean that the situation is good. We, uh, the, the bombardment in Gaza has been ongoing since a lot of time now. And, uh, and any person in Gaza are endangered of uh, being uh, bombed and of being killed at any uh, at any time, you know. Okay, okay. We have seen there are a lot of children who who died in this bombing, and there uh, I have uh, read uh, an article in which in which uh, they said there is one children who suicide yesterday because his family. Is died in the bombing. Yeah, because the situation in Gaza is so bad, and uh, you know it's really bad on children because uh, you know their mental health is so uh, is so uh, what they call it like it's so crazy <laughs> their mental health. Um, you know, imagine, imagine a child being under rub rebels, like children being under rebels and being bombed and seeing their parents and their family, all the family or their family dies. So uh, it's crazy, but uh, but yeah, we only, the only thing, uh, thing that we, we have from Gaza are the, the photos that are coming from there and the videos that are coming from there. And uh, us Palestinians, the only thing we can do now is protest for Gaza and strike, have strikes for Gaza. And this is not a cause only for Palestinians. It's a cause for human rights. So humans all around the world should go down to streets, should protest because a genocide is taking place in Gaza. Pakistanis in Pakistan should go down to streets. They should protest. There should They should, um, I, I don't know, maybe protest near the uh, uh, embassies that have uh, relations with uh, with Israel, like the Emirati embassy or the US embassy. I don't know if you have US embassy, but yeah. Yeah, Pakistanis are protesting for you. Even our prime minister, our foreign minister are talking for you on the uh, international basis. So yeah, tell me uh, one more thing. Uh, what was the reason they attacked Al-Aqsa Mosque in Ramzan? As we have seen, uh, people are praying there, Muslims are praying there. 
when they attacked us so what was the reason uh, basically they always attack and invade al aqsa mosque they want it to be a jewish holy place it's the most uh, uh, how do they call it it's the most attracting place in jerusalem they want jerusalem to be an israeli jewish uh, capital so in order for it to be a jewish israeli capital they need to make it uh, to, to make the most you know the most uh, interesting part of it which is al-aqsa the most uh, part uh, the most interesting part of it they want to make it jewish and Israeli. This is why they always invade Al-Aqsa, they always uh, attack Al-Aqsa. It's not something new. What happened in Ramadan is uh, the people were praying Taraweeh when they started um, uh, throwing booms and uh, and rubber-coated bullets on, um, on uh, people that are praying. Uh, they uh, wanted to make Al-Aqsa empty from the people that are praying and they did so okay yeah. okay okay how women of palestine facing all this issue all this uh, uh, you know all the yeah, they are uh, uh, beating you they are arresting you how women are facing there they are facing it the same as uh, other uh, members of society are facing it. Women are not unique. Women are not something that shouldn't resist and shouldn't, shouldn't revolt. From the start of history, women were revolting and women were resisting. Women are humans, so uh, it's not unique. It's not weird to see that women are uh, revolting or resisting. It's actually... It's actually uh dehumanizing of women to expect from them not to revolt and not to resist so we are part of the palestinian society we are part of this cause we are so it's the normal thing of us is to resist and to revolt okay okay we want to know the incident you have uh, seen uh, with you and uh, they happened with you and you got arrested they are they were beating you but you were smiling what was the reason of your smile that time uh, we were protesting in uh, sheikh jarrah uh, we were not allowed to enter sheikh jarrah so we're, we were protesting at the entrance of sheikh jarrah neighborhood uh, against the law of displacement that uh, palestinians and sheikh jarrah are facing and uh, I tried to help a girl that was attacked by uh, by uh, Jew by Israeli soldiers. I tr she was um, lying on ground. Uh, I tried to raise her up when a soldier attacked me, and he dragged me on the streets and arrested me. Uh, why I uh, I smiled because. From my right side, I could see the protesters that I was protesting with. With so I uh, smiled to them in order to emphasize the idea that I'm okay. I'm not frightened. That uh, what we're doing is uh, for the right, and uh, and yeah. Okay, you wanted to give a message to them that. Uh, we will not give up on uh, on Alexa Mosque. Mos so, is this any message you wanted to give them with your smile? Uh, we were protesting in Sheikh Jarrah, so uh, in the against what's happening in uh, in the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood. So basically, I wanted yeah, I wanted just to emphasize that I'm good, that I'm not frightened, that. Um, what happened to me is nothing compared to what's happening to other uh, people getting arrested in Jerusalem and in other parts of Palestine. So what I faced when I was arrested and what I faced when I was in prison is nothing compared to, uh, you know, to, to other uh, Palestinians getting arrested. Okay, Mariam, tell me, uh, as we have seen, there are 10 days they are uh, beating uh, Palestinians and uh, uh, arresting Palestinians. So how Palestinians did celebrate their Eid? 
you, you know, after Ramzan, we all uh, Muslim world celebrating their Eid. How Palestinian people celebrated their Eid? Uh, we didn't celebrate Eid because uh, Eid came when Gaza was being bombed. So in the middle of Eid, in the first day of Eid and second day of Eid and before Eid, uh, Gazans in Gaza were being bombed. People were killed in Gaza during Eid. So as Palestinians, we didn't like... I'm talking about myself and I'm talking of the people I know who didn't really celebrate Eid because you can't celebrate Eid while, you know, humans okay. are being yeah, killed. Are right. One last question, uh, Maryam. What message you want to give to hold the world, not only the Muslim world, to hold the world as a Palestinian? I want to, yeah, I want to say that it's not a Palestinian cause. It's not an Arabic cause. It's not a Muslim cause. It is a cause for human rights. Human uh, Humans all around the world should stand for the right of Palestinians because all humans around the world went through colonization and what we're going under, what we're going through uh, uh, now as Palestinians is colonization. They are colonizing us for 73 years now, more than 73 years. So you as humans, any human around the world, how it's shame, it's shame on humanity that a colonization is still ongoing until today. Okay, so, Mar okay Mariam, as you know, I am from Pakistan. So are you satisfied with the pa Pakistan performance or do you want to say anything to Pakistani government, to Pakistani people? <laughs> I, uh, I thank everyone in Pakistan and uh, in, uh, around the world uh, for their solidarity with the Palestinian people and with the Palestinian cause. Uh, I just want to say keep this solidarity and keep the good world, uh, the wor work going uh keep now our main we weapon the most powerful weapon we have on our hands is social media use your social media platforms all around the world to talk about palestine to condemn israeli uh, uh, israeli uh, war crimes uh use the social media talk about Palestine, share stories from Palestine. This is the only uh, weapon that we have today. I was with Maria Mafifi and she was telling me what the situation is in Palestine. There are children, 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 there are children. تشدد کا نشانہ بنایا جا رہا ہے اسرائیلی فورسز کی جانب سے جبکہ الکسا مسجد کو جو جانے والے رستے ہیں ان کو سیمنٹ لگا کے سیل کر دیا گیا ہے اچھا مریم نے اور بھی ہمیں یہ باتیں بتائیں کہ جو بچے ہیں ان کو بھی خاص طور پہ جو ہسپٹلائزیشن ہوتی ہے ہسپٹلز پہ بھی حملہ ہو رہا ہے بلڈنگز پہ بھی حملہ ہو رہا ہے اور میڈیا چینلز پہ بھی حملہ ہو رہا ہے الکسا مسجد کی کچھ بات کریں تو الکسا مسجد مسلمانوں کا ایمان ہے یہ وہ مسجد ہے جہاں پہ نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے تمام پیغمبروں کی امامت کی جہاں پہ ایک نماز پڑھنے کا ثواب پانچ سو نمازیں پڑھنے کا ملتا ہے اسی کے ساتھ اپنے پروگرام کو سائن آف کروں گا یہ کہتے ہوئے کہ کی محمد سے وفا تو نے تو ہم تیرے ہیں یہ جہاں چیز ہے کیا لوہ قلم تیرے ہیں اپنے میزبان عزیر خالد کو اجازت دیجئے اللہ حافظ